Okay, so now, in our last few minutes, it's really over to you. We have 15 minutes, and we'd love to hear from any of you. Yahoo's, we're going to hand it over to you for five minutes, and then we welcome any of you to, to speak for the last few minutes. Yes, this will all be um, on All World Exchange and the Facebook page, and you've hopefully seen the photo of you and the President on the Facebook page. This photo will be up there, and many more. And in fact, Rafa, where she is going to do a whole uh, photo magazine and with articles for all of you, and you'll be able to read, share it, and download any photos as well. Yes, that too. Everything that you've seen, you will be able to have. So, first of all, I would like to thank All World Network for, uh, for the name of all the participants. Uh, you spotted me out. Thank you very much for that. I think that's your mission, as the visibility that brought us to this point. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce a little bit myself, because we met with some of the gentlemen and ladies here, but some of them not. I am Yavuz Eroğlu. Uh, I am from a company doing plastic and disposables. But this is a general story. We are entrepreneurs. We know the business and business is anything for us. I will not tell about this. I will tell that I will start with my grandfather, but I will not take it so long. My grandfather was a farmer in, in very small municipalities, in, in very small town of Turkey, in Anatolia. Then he moved to a big city. He was a porter. He was carrying the goods on his back and earning his money. And after my father, with his money that he earned from Porterness, he graduated my father from the university. And my father started a small shop of plastics. And then I graduated from the university. And I continued the business. I tried to grow the business. We put up new companies. We make better and better for ourselves uh, the business. We try to do it. And why I tell you about this, about my grandfather and everything. First of all, I'm so happy because I think that my grandfather would never have imagined of the point that I'm standing today. So when I dream of that, <laughs> that's amazing. And what's interesting, what I come out is that I brought my son here, Omar, who was the official photographer of this event. <laughs> Today he retired, unfortunately. <laughs> and I, I, I think that I cannot imagine when and where he will be in the future, because my grandfather couldn't imagine where I am. So I think that as, as ourselves, we should be trying that getting this world to a position that we cannot imagine what our children will be. It should be beyond our imagination. What I think is that why I come here, and all of us I think come here, first of all, for networking, learning, highlighting our companies, and highlighting ourselves, our own personalities here. And we manage this, I think. This is, this is by this way. I think after this three days, I can say that we manage most of it. But as entrepreneurs, we are like, horse cars. We are the horses of the horse cars. We are driving the horse car. We are moving because we want food, we want to succeed. But on the back of the seat, there is a lot of people that we take with us. And these are our nations, our people. So I think that while we manage our things in during this conference, we also managed something for our nations, for our business, for our communities, which is more than, more than uh, anything important. That is, I think, prosperity that we had here, and also peace. Something 
that I would like to add to it is that while something interesting is also happening while I'm meeting the people here, because we are coming from regions which are generally, I'm not going to say thought to be, but is places where, where people cannot make entrepreneurship in the right way because of some certain things. I mean, when we are talking about the general big picture, entrepreneurship is something individual, but you need the culture, you need the environment. But from the places that we come, sometimes it's easier to be not entrepreneur, but to raise relations, which is much more easier. Not net, this is not networking that we are meant to be here. This is something else. So what I see here is that we don't have a lot of or none political entrepreneurs here or none rent seekers here. All the people that I met here are like my story. That's why I told it. It's not special for me, I'm sure, because I met a lot of people. They are real entrepreneurs. We really come from the scratch. That's something important. And that is also giving me a lot of optimism because I feel that for the long run, my son will come to a point that I cannot imagine. One more thing that I do my, for myself, I try, and I also think that we should do together, is that while Joano asked in his questions today, as individual people, we try to do ourselves the best. But as individuals, our efforts cannot be sometimes enough because we should be also on the big picture. And that's the political area. We should try to also transform. We should also transform our own countries in a way that it will become more open societies for entrepreneurship to flourish and to go better. So I would like to end my words that with all this thing that I have told, and more than that, I think that I met here a lot of friends which are very powerful. I was a rent seeker here. I was, I was somebody who was a political entrepreneur here because I believe that these people today will also be partners in the changing of their community. And I have met the people that are going to be the minister, presidents of the future. Thank you very much.